The Jets lost to the Chargers, 34-28, in Los Angeles on Sunday, dropping to 0-10. After the defeat, a series of pillars were named in the injury list, including, Sam Darnold, shoulder, Joe Flacco, neck, Henry Anderson, knee, ankle. Here is full injury report after match on Sunday. The Jets remain in a holding pattern when it comes to the status of QB Sam Darnold, shoulder, ahead of Sunday's game against the visiting Miami Dolphins. Joe Flacco played the last two games after Darnold aggravated the injury against Kansas City that he first sustained back in October. In all Flacco has started four games this season. Will Sam Darnold plays on Sunday? Stay tuned. For me it's one day at a time still, Darnold said on Monday. The shoulder feels good throwing, I'm doing what I need to do. Now, it's just about getting hit and seeing how it responds. I have to be careful, but it feels good. Darnold will return to the practice field with his teammates on Wednesday. And while head coach Adam Gase said he's confident in Darnold's ability to throw and connect on passes, his concern is about his quarterback's ability to withstand being hit and jamming the right shoulder into the turf. I'm going with what I'm hearing from the trainers, the doctors and him, Gases said. It's not me making the decision. This is a group effort to make sure we're doing right by him. Obviously he wants to get back out there again. The only thing I can't predict. I wish I could tell him he won't get hit, driven into the turf and hurt the shoulder. I can't predict that. It sounds like he's moving in the right direction, but this is part of the game that I can't control. For his part, Darnold said he is eager and champing at the bit for a chance to play with a full complement of wide receivers in Jamison Crowder, Breshad Perriman and Denzel Mims, a threesome that has only gained full health in Darnold's absence. Those guys are doing really good now making plays for us, Darnold said. Regardless of their situation I just want to be out there. I always want to go out there and play football. In the middle of the match Joe Flacco felt pain in his neck, However the doctors checked him and confirmed he could continue to play. However, I am concerned that Joe Flacco's neck surgery wound has recurred, and that the player is in pain to play. Joe Flacco and the Jets battled until the end against the Los Angeles Chargers at Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, Califf, on Sunday. Ultimately, the Chargers were able to hang on for a 34-28 victory. For the Jets, 0-10, it was another game of missed opportunities, flashes of hope and strong play, but still not quite enough on offense or on defense. The Chargers, 3-7, snapped a three-game losing streak. It's football, you have ups and downs in this game, the Sage veteran, Jets RB Frank Gore, 61 rushing yards, said. You want to start fast, but things just are not going our way early in the game. Off the Chargers' first possession to open the game, the Jets turned a blocked punt by Henry Anderson, recovered by Quinnen Williams, the third block of a Chargers punt this season into six early points, without a pass being thrown. Los Angeles quickly drove down the field before Marcus May jarred the ball loose from Kellen Allen on the goal, Ashton Davis recovered at the Jets' four-yard line. But QB Joe Flacco, making his fourth start of the season for injured Sam Darnold, shoulder, got off to a dreadful start when his pass on first and ten after the turnover, intended for Jamison Crowder in the right flat, was intercepted by the Chargers' Tavon Campbell for an uncontested pick six. Asked about the pass, Jets head coach Adam Gase said, it wasn't the right decision. The Jets' highlights in their first half against the Los Angeles Chargers Sunday could be placed in one folder at the front of the file cabinet. The one marked, A, for, Anderson, Henry. But Anderson's never been one to dwell on his individual accomplishments. His third blocked punt not six minutes into the game, his tackle for loss, his first half sack of 2020 all took a back seat to what he and his teammates continue to deal with as their record fell to 0-10. After the match Anderson felt pain in knee and ankle. However, doctors have not been able to confirm Anderson's injury. It's probably the most frustrated any of us has been playing football, the veteran D lineman said after the Jets come from behind but not all the way 34-28 loss to the Chargers. I feel we're doing everything we can during the week of preparation. We've just got to find those extra few things we can do to get us over the hump. We're practicing hard, we're focused and attentive in the meetings, we're getting after it and competing in practice. It's just not coming together on Sundays. Before it almost came together in the final quarter, the Jets had to weather a first half that started out sublimely, with help from Anderson's special team's ability. 
he gave credit to Saint coordinator Brant Boyer for his third blocked kick in his three Jet seasons, with the rejection of Ty Long's punt enabling him to join the franchise club that includes only Joe Klecko and Donald Dykes as players who have at least one punt block, one field goal block and one extra point block in their Jets careers. I'm a big dude rushing off the end and the guy who was going to block me was smaller. He had to brace for me running him over, so I just swan inside and got through," Anderson said. That was something Coach Boyer saw on film and we thought we could take advantage of it. That's just what the Jets' offense did, cashing in Anderson's block and Quinnen Williams's recovery at the LA-29 into LaMichael Pirine's 5-yard TD run and a 6-0 lead. The Jets have released QB Mike White and restored Tay Ross Travis to the practice squad. White, 6-5. 218, was signed to the active roster for the Week 11 matchup against the Chargers. He's been active for Jets Week 1, Bills, Week 5, Cardinals, Week 6, Cardinals, and Week 9, Patriots games. He's been on and off the team's practice squad after he was cut at the end of training camp. Travis, 6-6, 248, a former Penn State basketball player, spent training camp with the Jets after the team claimed him last December. He was elevated to the active roster for the Week 9 game against the Patriots. He signed with the Chiefs practice squad in 2015 as an undrafted free agent and spent two seasons on and off Kansas City's roster. Travis signed with the Colts in 2017 and was waived last December. He has 14 receptions for 142 yards in 24 games, 7 starts.